Hey there guys, what's up? I finally got around to doing my uh, Q&A video for 20,000 subscribers, only now I've kind of gone past 20,000 uh, subscribers. Uh, I left it a bit too late, I'm now at, uh, say, uh, uh, 35,000 subscribers I think, so um, let's just say this is a uh, thank you for a 30,000 subscriber video, because I kind of left it a bit late. But um, I've got around to doing it now, um, and I've got uh, about, uh, say, 15 question, uh, questions ready. Um, I, I, I offer some more questions on Twitter as well because I, I know I, I, I just uh, if anyone didn't submit a question and they wanted to now so um, yeah let's get on with the questions the first one comes from Ryan and he asks me what kind of music do you like well Ryan I don't really like a specific type of music I like to listen to kind of uh, mixed genres of music not just one because that gets me really bored the genres I, uh, of music I really like is uh, say hip hop slash rap electro dubstep house I like to listen to orchestral uh, dub orchestral which is basically orchestra and dubstep um, basically pretty much uh, all genres except for the um, typical pop music you get nowadays um, yeah, the Justin Bieber, Nicki Minaj, Lady Gaga. I wouldn't even class that as music, but um, apparently it's music to some people. So, um, and I also hate those musicians who think they can rap and think they're real hardcore rappers and hip hoppers, but, but really, they're not rappers. Rapping is not rapping when you're rapping to a pop song. I don't, I don't know how much I have to put that message across. You know, they, they can't rap. They're not rapping because. To rap, you need to rap to a hip hop beat, you need to rap to a typical rap beat, not a pop song. So there you go, that answers your question, Ryan, and uh, another kind of rant about uh, today's kind of pop music, which I really do hate. But to answer your question, I listen to pretty much all type of music, uh, but the main music I listen to is uh, hip hop slash rap, electro, dubstep, ha and house. Next question comes from Nick on Twitter, he asks me, Worst game of 2012 so far. Well, Nick, to be honest, I don't think there are any games releasing this year that are going to be absolutely terrible. And to be honest, there's no games that I'm really looking forward to this year. There's, there's none that really, really get me pumped. Of course, I'm going to buy games like Borderlands 2, FIFA 13, uh, the new Medal of Honor, Halo 4, all that kind of good stuff. But uh, there's no real uh, games that I think are going to be absolutely awful this year. Um, all games that I'm really looking forward to. Maybe if Grand Theft Auto 5 were to come out this year, but um, it's pretty obvious now that it's not going to come out next year. Uh, I'd say around April next year or this time next year. So um, yeah, to answer your question, I'm not really sure about um, what's the worst video game of 2012. And the next question comes from Daniel. He asked me, what football team do you support? Uh, I've said this quite a few times. If you guys follow me on Twitter, I'll uh, sometimes tweet it out if my uh, team is playing. I support Fulham FFC just for the reason because uh, my dad, uh, w when he was growing me up, he always uh, told me to support um, FFC or Fulham. You know, if you've had a dad who really loves fo football, he will uh, grow you up to, you know, tell you to support that team. And so, and also because, you know, my whole family supports it. Um, it, it well, my dad's side of the family also, like, all of them support it. Um, so there you go. To answer your question, I support Fulham. Scope TJ asked me, why did you decide to call yourself the Gaming Lemon? Now this is probably my number one question that I got asked in the comment section. Uh, it must have been about one of every five comments, probably even less than that, was um, why did you call yourself the Gaming Lemon? Why didn't you call yourself this? Why why did you call yourself this? Well, I've already made a video about a year ago um, explaining why I called myself the Gaming Lemon, but that was when I had like 1,000 or 2,000 subscribers, so um, no one really uh, viewed it or nothing. But the reason I call myself uh, Lemon at the end of the Gaming Lemon is because my surname is fairly close to Lemon. I'm sure some of you already know what my surname is, but um, I just uh, say my, my surname is Lemon just so um, I don't get like uh, a billion requests on uh, Facebook or like just so people don't know my real life name. But it is fairly close to Lemon. Uh, I was I was nicknamed Lemon when I was uh, kind of little because uh, my surname was so uh, close to it. And sometimes when I was in like the orthodontist or the dentist, the orthodontist would go Bradley Lemon to room four, please. When it doesn't, it's not pronounced like that at all. And it would always get me angry. But uh, considering it was my nickname, I decided to put it in a, a gamer tag, uh, Gaming Lemon. And then I decided to make a YouTube and call it the Gaming Lemon. And that's uh, pretty much why I call myself the Gaming Lemon. Next question comes from Jeffrey. That's an awesome name. I wish I had that name. What's the worst thing that's ever happened to you?
Next question. No? How old are you? I got this question asked a lot as well. I don't know why people want to know my age, but I am 15. I turn uh, 16 next month on 29th of October, if anyone's interested. So right now I just started year 11, my uh, massive GCSE year, which is gonna suck. I'm gonna have to do uh, a lot of work for it, and that probably means less uploads because I have to concentrate on these GCSEs. Because uh, I want to get into a good college-ish meh. But yeah, there you go, I'm 15. Adam from MCXBLA News asks me, what do you do when you get a hater or uh, some sort of hate on your video? Now I found this to be a very, very good question. A really interesting question to answer and uh, hopefully I can give you some tips. Uh, if anyone's starting to try out a YouTube channel, I can give you some tips on what to do if you get a hater. Number one is the most important thing, don't reply to them, they're just being troll. All they want is to get attention and uh, by like other people because they never get comments and they really want to get a comment. So the only thing they want to get, uh, they're trying to get fame and they're trying to get people replying to them because they, they, ne they never get any. But uh, the number one thing is uh, don't reply to them because they're just trying to get you to reply to them. And I normally get hate uh, or most of the hate on these type of videos when I show my face. Because I always get a uh, random comment uh, saying, Oh, you're so ugly, you're acne awful. Why don't you use proactive? Lol, 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 lol. Yeah, those are just uh, typical trolls. And to be honest, um, if you decide to show your face, I know it's a really tough uh, thing to do on YouTube because of uh, the type of trolls you'll get. And at the first time you show your face, people, uh, you get more of those comments because people are more surprised to see your face. But uh, I don't know what I do. I just ignore them. When I see, uh, see uh, a comment that says, You're ugly, I kind of just go, Whatever, I don't care. That's just some fat nerd at a computer and uh, just typing random stuff. It doesn't really affect me. He's on the other side of the world, so I don't really care. Over time with those comments, if uh, you get them on, uh, you know, showing your face, you kind of get used to them like a man, I don't really care anymore. That's kind of the point I'm at now. But really what I do is I, I just ignore them or I block them if they keep doing it so they can never do it again. Or um, uh, just ignore them and let, and let your uh, fans reply to them. And I normally come back with better comebacks than me, so I just never bother replying them. Don't let it get to you, don't let one hater get for you, because you, you will always have more fans um, than haters. So um, it, it, don't let like one comment ruin your day, no matter how personal it is. If it gets really personal to you, then just, just block them, so then they can never do it again. Because so that's one hater down uh, out of the uh, hundreds out there. Bobby asks... How long have you been on YouTube and how has it affected your life so far? Now I'm not going to be like one of those emotional speeches that what some YouTubers do when they do stuff like YouTube has changed my life in so many ways, it's made me so confident and I'm just a better person because of it. Well my, li my life isn't that different to be honest, I mean I do cut out some of my uh, social life because I have to stay in and do uh, more YouTube videos. Um, but that, 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 that kind of makes up for it. I, don't, I, I uh, prefer doing this and, uh, well, on some occasions I prefer doing this to going outside. It depends what I'm doing. If I'm just sat on my laptop doing nothing but um, just editing and it's a really sunny day, then I won't, I won't bother editing because it's kind of sunny. It's sunny right now, but um, I wanted to make this Q&A video. So it's affected me where I don't go uh, out as much as I do anymore. Not by a lot. It's just like, uh, say, if you got if you got a job. Uh, you can't go out because you have to go to that job. That's kind of like what I'm doing. Um, but I, I don't like to call this thing a job because that just sounds like I'm in it for the money. Which I'm not. I'm in it for entertainment. But uh, seriously, I am not in it f just for the money. I mean, the money is just uh, a, a bonus. But I'm getting off topic again. You know, the, uh, to answer your first question, how long have I been on YouTube for? I started YouTube back in uh, June 2011. So about a year and two months ago. Or three months. I can't be bothered to think right now. But I started off doing uh, Let's Plays, just uh, mainly a Sims 3 Let's Play, that's what um, started uh, on console. That's what started my uh, channel massively and then I kind of slowly transferred to Minecraft news because uh, I saw that it was coming popular and I saw that more people wanted it so I gave what you guys wanted. Will you dance in front of the camera? <laughs> What got you into gaming, and why did you call you, or why did you give yourself that name? Just like I said, I got that question a lot of times. But to answer your question, what got me into gaming? 
uh, when I was about four or five years old. Uh, it was a Christmas, like uh, about ten years ago, when the PS2 had uh, been out for about a year. Um, me and my brother had never ever had a, like, a console or a Game Boy. We went on a PS2 like once and we knew that we wanted it. And uh, for Christmas we got it as a joint present and uh, we got t we got two games with it. We got Driver, uh, which I didn't like, which my brother loved. And Pro Evolution Soccer, the first ever one which I got. And that was my first ever game I played and I loved it to bits. I would come in from school and go on it for ages and ages and ages. And that was probably the best Pro Evolution Soccer day I ever did. <laughs> don't really know why it was so good. Probably it's because it was uh, my first ever football game and I was like, oh my. God, this is awesome! And I also got a lot of questions saying how did I get into Minecraft. I'm not going to put it on the screen because uh, I forgot to get I forgot to get one. But um, to answer ev all of those people's questions, about in 2010, uh, about two years ago, um, just when Minecraft and went to beta, I was next to one of my friends called Josh or Sloggo Man. Some of you may recognise him. Uh, what, I, I, I used to do let's plays of him. I stopped when I was about 5,000 subs. Um, he he's taught me about Minecraft. Like I was sitting next to some science, and he goes, "Hey, Brad, have you ever heard of Minecraft?" I'm like, well, "What's Minecraft?" And then from there, it was history. He taught me all about it, and then about a week later, I bought the actual game. At first, I hated it. I was like, "What did I spend my money on? This, this is rubbish." Because I didn't know how to work it and everything. Then in about an hour, I was like, "Oh my god, this is the best game ever!" I still remember my first house. I thought it was amazing. And now I look back on it and I'm like, that's a part of crap. Mine was just like a plain wooden block. And that was about it. With like a tiny little basement. I was like, oh my god, this is massive! And like, uh, I was sending like pictures to my friends and they're like, yeah, that's massive. When really it was like tiny, but I thought, oh my god, it's massive. What got you into the YouTube business and how old were you when you started YouTube? First, I was uh, 14 when I started YouTube. Um, about fr uh, uh, give just a tip. Um, you guys may let it go get a lot of hate if you are if your voice has not broken yet. I recommend not doing commentaries until your voice has got a little bit deeper. I know mine's a little not fully uh, broken, but um, for some reason in the YouTube community, when someone uh, hears a high pitched voice on YouTube, they're like, "Gay, gay, is this a boy or a girl? G -g gay." But what got me into the YouTube business? I'd say about March in 2011, around ish. I was in a sniper club with some of my friends, and only one of my friends had a HEP VR, and uh, he t he told everyone to get a. If you guys can get a HEP VR so you can record, then please do. So I thought, oh yeah, all right, that'd be pretty cool. So then, as soon as I bought it, and then I I got it uh, about a week later, then the, uh, then uh. My clan broke up, so I was stuck over PVR going, hmm, what should I do with it now? And then I thought uh, I should do some uh, commentaries and uh, let's plays. So that's what I did. I started doing commentaries and let's plays, and the rest is history. Do you watch other YouTubers like KSI and PewDiePie? I thought this was another interesting question to answer. I've heard that uh, other commentators really don't watch any other commentators, and that's uh, ish ish the same with me. Um, I used to watch YouTube all the time, so like all I used to do, I used to get up and like, watch all the videos and then go back to sleep. But now I don't really have time to watch all my videos uh, in my subscription, make videos and still have a social life. So right now I just, uh, I've, I picked um, make videos and have a social life. That doesn't mean I don't watch all my videos. Uh, I do watch a few YouTubers. I always watch uh, KSI's videos. I, uh, I, I think he's hilarious. Um, I watch every single one of his videos just because he releases one like once a week and they're always really short so I always have the time to. I used to love PewDiePie, he used to be my favourite YouTuber. Um, but now I don't really watch him that much anymore. I watched his Slender videos but that's about it. And that's about it. I used to love Tobuscus um, but now, yeah, again I don't really watch him anymore. That's all I've really watched is a bit of PewDiePie and KSI. Do you have a rash on your face? I think you're talking about my acne. Yeah, as I said before, like uh, I get all these uh, acne comments a lot, like spots, pimples, whatever, and um, sort of joke type of things. I don't really care about them, but um, to answer your question, well, I am a teenager. I am going through puberty. People who are going through puberty get acne. I don't get why people don't really pick that sort of thing up. No matter how much I use like all the uh, facial, uh, what's it, products, proactive, 
and freedom and all that stuff. I, I've tried all of them. If anything, it makes the acne worse. So I, I, I still do uh, face wash. I have every day, what well, twice a day for about a while now, and it, it doesn't do that much work. It, it does help a bit, but um, I'm a teenager. I'm going through puberty. I can't. I can't. I have to let nature do its thing. And it will probably go away when I'm about 18 or a show. I've gotten used to it now, uh, it doesn't really bother me that much anymore. And those are all the questions I have there uh, for today. Thank you for everyone who did ask a question, whether it be in the comment section or on Twitter. Um, I really do appreciate it, thank you very much. Uh, sorry I couldn't answer all of them. There was about like uh, a thousand in total on that video. Uh, just over a thousand. But thanks a lot guys for 20,000 and 30,000 subscribers. Uh, I, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry this was really late, but um, uh, if you did enjoy this video, then please do leave a like and a favourite tip as well, that little heart button. Is it still a heart button? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Lemon out.